Hey, sunshines. So we're going to find the volume of a rectangular pyramid. So it's called a rectangular pyramid. That means I know my base is a rectangle. So I want to draw out my base because I know that the formula for volume is one third base times height. That's volume of a pyramid. So since I know that I need the base and I need the height, I'm going to need to find them. So to find the base, to find the base, I want to start by just drawing the base. It's a rectangle. So this is 8 and this is 10. So area of a rectangle. is length times width. So my base is going to be the length times the width. So that's going to be 8 times 10. So that's going to equal 80. My unit is centimeters. It's area, so it's centimeters squared because centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. So now I know my base, but I also need to find my height. So height is perpendicular to the base going from the apex, perpendicular down to the center of your, down to your base. This says the apex is centered over the base. So I know that this is actually the center, which is really important because I'm not given the height. I'm given the slant height, which means I'm going to have to calculate the height using this right triangle here. So this distance here, because it's centered, this distance is going to be half of this side of the base. So it's going to be, if this was 10, half of 10 gives me 5. So now I can use that right triangle. To solve. This was my slant height. And then my height is what I'm actually finding. So in order to find height, I'm going to use, that's a right triangle. I don't have any angles, but I have two sides. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So h squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. Because 13 is the hypotenuse. That's the one that's across from the right angle. This is the longest side. So h squared plus 25 equals 13 squared. If you're not, if you don't know your squares, you can always plug that into the calculator. 13 squared, 169, 1. And then you're going to subtract. H squared equals 144. And then how do you find H? You take the square root of both sides. So second, the squared button has a little blue square root over it. And then 144, you can plug in answer, but it's faster to just type it when it's that short. H equals 12. So now I know what I'm, now I can plug my pieces in. So H is 12. The base is 80. And then I just bring down the rest of my formula. Volume equals 1 third times 80 times 12. So I'm going to type that in. So one third times 80 times 12 is 320. And then, of course, don't forget your units. I forgot my height.